Welcome back. I'm your host, Gabriel. And this is a rematch of sorts for Argentina and Croatia as the two teams are set to face off in the semifinals uh, of the World Cup today. Uh, the last time that they met was in group stage of the 2018 World Cup where Croatia came away with a resounding 3-0 victory. Uh, both teams have had to fight hard to get to this point in the tournament. In the quarterfinals, Argentina narrowly defeated Netherlands on penalty kicks while uh, Croatia edged uh, past Brazil in a tense match that also went to penalties. Uh, both teams will be looking to their defenses to help shut down the opposition attacks. Uh, Croatia will rely on the leadership of their captain, the impressive Luka Modric, to help guide their, them to victory. Well, Modric has been instrumental in Croatia's run to the semifinals, and his creativity and unpredictability will be key in unlocking Argentina's defense. Uh, on the other hand, Argentina will be counting on the talent of their own superstar, uh, Lionel Messi. If Croatia gives them uh, uh, too much space, they will be in trouble. Uh, Messi has uh, the ability to change the game in an instant, and if he is given the opportunity, he could single-handedly lead Argentina to victory. Uh, ultimately, it will be a battle of the two world-class teams, each looking to outmaneuver the other in a bit to advance to the final. Um, it's going to be a thrilling match and one that the fans will not want to miss. Uh, this uh, semi-final will, uh, will be played at the Luceo Stadium in Qatar and Italian referee Daniele Orsato will be in charge of officiating the game. Semi-final predictions. So we're going to go with the first day because we got to save the second day for my predictions after my recap of the first day. So the first semi-final is going to be Argentina against Croatia. Now this is an interesting match, seeing as after the round of 16, I probably would have said that Argentina would win this game pretty uh, without a lot of contention. But after uh, Croatia's performance against Brazil, I do think that it's a lot closer game. And I think people will go into the game thinking um, that's Argentina's game uh, and they're just going to take it by the horns. And I do agree. Argentina are a better side on paper, but... I don't think it'll be that easy. I believe they were in the same group uh, in the 2018 World Cup, and I believe Croatia won 3-1. I remember Modric, Modric scoring a really good goal in that game. Um, I could be wrong with the exact scoreline, but I do think Croatia beat Argentina in the group stage four years ago. Um, I still think Croatia are a very, very good side. They're very solid. Um, I love the way they build out on the transition and the counter-attack. Uh, they don't exactly rush it. They don't really have extreme pace, but they have precision and they have uh, poise, uh, which is very important as well. Uh, not everything is just pace and power. So uh, it's really it's hard to give a prediction for this game. I want to say 2-1 for Argentina. I do think they can edge it out. I mean, Messi has just been on his game ever since the Saudi Arabia game, which was unfortunate. Um, Argentina have just looked pretty well, pretty good. Uh, I thought that, you know, the Netherlands game did show some flaws. Um, they do switch off sometimes, but all teams do. Uh, so I'm going to go with a 2-1 for uh, Argentina, and they'll be in the finals for the first time since 2014, hoping to get their first World Cup since 1986, I believe. So, yeah. See you guys soon. Hi, so today's game with Argentina versus Croatia is going to be the start of the semifinals. Um, and unfortunately, whoever loses will not be making it to the finals. So I do hope that Argentina beats Croatia as Argentina is my team that I'm rooting for to win the whole World Cup. Um, I really hope that the game does not go to the extent that it went for the game that was against the Netherlands because I think just having that much time added and then the extra time, having it go all the way to PKs, I think is not like Argentina's ideal situation. I think winning it early in the first half or second half, just being up by a goal or two and having all 11 players on the field is like best case scenario because um, I think there's more to the team than just having a PK shootout. Um, but I really do hope Argentina... Big one tomorrow, Argentina, Croatia. Keep it nice and simple. Two nothing, Argentina. Messi early first half goal, and then a late, um, late goal to seal the deal by Lautaro Martinez subbing in for Julian Alvarez. I'm optimistic. I'm excited. 
Tomorrow we shut everyone up and show everyone we're championship material. Vamos Argentina. While little is known about the starting lineup for both teams, it's uh, speculated that Argentina's coach Lionel Scaloni will have to make changes, especially considering that defenders Marcos Acuna and Gonzalo Montiel uh, were suspended for accumulating two yellow cards. Uh, Croatia, on the other hand, is expected to feel a similar team than in the game where they defeated Brazil. Um, regardless of the starting lineups, uh, this promises to be a thrilling match uh, between two teams that are definitely determined to advance to the final. This uh, showdown between Lionel Messi and Luka Modric will be definitely one to watch. Uh, both players have the ability to take control of the game, lead their teams to victory. It's definitely going to be a closely contested match that the fans will, they won't want to miss. Um, this is the rum rumored starting 11 for Argentina. But again, there's a lot of room for change here. Uh, if anything, Scaloni has always been uh, somebody who will not give the formation until the very last moment. Um, Emiliano Martinez will be in net. 4-3-3 uh, formation, by the way. Molina, Romero, Otamendi, and uh, Tagliafico returning to the starting lineup. Then the Paul, Enzo Fernandez, the Benfica player. McAllister, um, the uh, Brighton uh, midfielder. And then up front, Di Maria, I doubt it, uh, Messi and Julian Alvarez, the Manchester City striker. Um, with regards to Croatia, uh, Slako Dablic's uh, team will also be playing 4-3-3 and the expected lineup will be uh, Livakovic, the fantastic goalkeeper, uh, then Juranovic, Lovren, uh, Guardiol and Borna Sosa, the Stuttgart player in the back, then Luka Modric, uh, the Real Madrid star, uh, Brozovic and Kovacic, and then a front, Pasalic, Petkovic, and uh, the Tottenham Hotspur uh, striker, uh, Perisic. So, now if the winner of, to of today's game ends being decided by a shootout, this is going to be a nail-biting one. Uh, as both goalkeepers have been playing a key role in the previous phase. Uh, anything can happen, right? It will be down to which team can hold their nerve and execute their penalty kicks successfully. Um, it's impossible to predict the outcome to, to, uh, of a shootout. Uh, all we can do is wait and see how the, uh, the, the match plays out and hope for an exciting or an entertaining game that will end with a clear winner. Uh, my prediction, I would probably say more like my hope, is a 2-1 win, win for Argentina. But uh, this game will definitely be full of drama and it's going to be a game for the ages. That's for sure. See you tomorrow.